Hi everyone. So my Hoya is blooming a quarter of a pinnacle. Okay, there are only four buds. Nothing blasted, nothing stunted, nothing dropped off. Okay, but it's just four buds. And this is from a pinnacle far hidden in the bottom until the buds were visible I did not see this pinnacle either you can see this is not a very long pinnacle either right. so is this bad for this to only bloom or grow four buds the answer is no it will do what it wants that's what you have to first understand about hoyas this is not a very new pinnacle and not an old pinnacle either because it has no spent surface due to a bud blast or previous blooming right there might be one time that this did bloom or did blast but since we cannot see a lot of spent space, uh, I cannot be sure about that either. I remember this blooming so many years ago and very recently, for the third time I think, it bloomed. It almost tried to bloom with a full budding up uh, pinnacle but the buds did not open because I touched the buds, unopened buds and either me or the heavy sun we've been facing they all blasted. It might be the reason that the reservoir was emptied for one or two days, that the sun was also high and that whole full pinnacle blasted. I'll add footage if I have. I know I covered that in one of my videos. So my son will have to pull that out. Now, uh, I am seeing a monstrous growth in this. Okay, and this is the pinnacle which the buds blasted, the full uh, pinnacle which was about to bloom, blasted. And now again I'm seeing more pinnacles, right? These are totally new. I have not shown you this earlier. And I know there are some more older pinnacles such as this. And uh, a few others all around, which I saw when I was wrapping this around this old trellis. And even these I need to wrap, but I'm waiting to see what these vines would do. These are very long, okay, but I'm waiting to see how many leaves or pinnacles these would produce. So like that, th you can see that this vine is very healthy. Some even might say this has been receiving too much of nitrogen or I've been giving this a high nitrogen fertilizer because I always talk about this high you know, component fertilizers all the time but I didn't because I did not own a high nitrogen fertilizer four months ago from four months ago even from my former apartment that I was living uh, for a very small period of time I was looking for that but I couldn't find it and I've totally stopped making my own organic fertilizer uh, because I moved to an apartment and it's so smelling uh, due to that even I did not have a high nitrogen fertilizer so to this day I have not started making that also and uh, but you guys know a growth like this will be only visible when the roots are totally healthy okay for some reason this plant took off in leka and this is the only vine i have in leka okay and i'll show you the roots from the side what you see at the bottom in gray are the roots and this reservoir is totally empty because I have treated all of them with neem oil and dishwash. 
Okay. So the previous bud blasting might be a reason of an empty reservoir and high sun too, right? That we've established. But here, four buds to be blooming and not a full pinnacle is totally normal. You saw up to the roots and how it's doing and you can see the whole monstrous vine and how it's doing but when only four buds are blooming you definitely should not worry. If your plant or if your vine is very short and small let's say two to three nodes and it's trying to bud up but is but it is blasting okay there we know the root cause of that is the strength of your wine is not that good but you are giving some bloom booster to it okay either you have received that rooted cutting or unrooted cutting from a friend or a seller which already had a pinnacle in it right just like i told you right like it's doing four buds now when it's totally green right and it's fully grown it can do the same uh, on the opposite side also on the flip side if it's a just you know a one node or two node cutting so that's how it is right but do not panic just leave it be right it's not like in uh, orchids where we can take off spikes if the uh, Phalaenopsis or uh, the vanda or whatever the orchid that we are growing is in trouble when uh, these pinnacles are budding up i do not know if we are supposed to pull the buds out and just disturb the pinnacle or you know wound it i feel like we will be wounding the pinnacle if we pull the buds out the forming buds off of it so that's where i just leave it be and do its thing because i know i don't have to worry about four buds blooming right maybe this lacked uh, potassium and phosphorus uh, because you very well see that it has a very good uh, nitrogen uh, nutrition in it because of all the greenness and because of how, because of how established it is um, but uh, you know you cannot pinpoint this is the issue when it when your plant is healthy because you've been treating all of them the same way and they've been growing well for you right so you do not know what the reason is right so here uh, not like regular bloomers again these will be very lazy to bloom right some might even say there's too much nitrogen in it again that's why uh, the other components are missing that's why the blooming is less i wouldn't know even though i do not suspect it to be i wouldn't know so i'll just leave it be right what i'm advising you also is to not overthink things right just leave them be and let them grow the way they want uh, give it the proper care and wish for the best so there's nothing to worry when it comes to your buds being bloomed in fewer months um, but not a full pinnacle especially if your plant is healthy right uh, if you want you can change your fertilizer and see and give a high potassium and phosphorus fertilizer simultaneously or just go on with your routine care and let the plant do whatever it wants however it is this journey of mine when i talk about growing hoyas i do not want much stress i just 
you know that's why they are in the inorganic media and in semi hydro setups you know all throughout my you know trays and uh, you know i've been fertilizing them and i've been changing the fertilizer but for the longest time i think the whole of 2023 the plants went without fertilizer even without water and then they are used to right which prompted them to bloom actually right so it can be any reason what i wanted to tell you finally is to not to worry if your plant is healthy do not worry about a half or quarter pinnacle blooming okay so if it's not healthy please focus on high nitrogen and high phosphorus fertilizers that is n and p high and k low in npk right and uh, you can spray a magnesium fertilizer which is epsom salt <laughs> in my case uh, you know once a month and uh, you can spray a bloom booster if you go on a full pinnacle again but here i do not suggest any bloom boosters other than balanced fertilizer uh, if your plant is not in trouble because uh, when you go into bloom boosters the potassium is high and the other two are low sometimes a weaker plant might throw off a spike or a pinnacle reactivated but it will not go all the way because the nitrogen and phosphorus is missing okay nitrogen and phosphorus have been given in very low quantities this is where you can spray a simultaneous bloom booster and a um, high nitrogen fertilizer and again the bloom booster and a high phosphorus fertilizer right whichever the schedule you are on normally we spray weekly weekly same rules as our kids right weekly basis in a weaker strength right so if you are spraying a bloom booster today the next time that you spray you can spray a high nitrogen fertilizer then again the next time you can spray the bloom booster again and the very next time you can spray the high phosphorus fertilizer that's what i meant right if you want to trigger right or else you can go with your regular fertilizer 2020 20 or 18 18 18 that's the balanced fertilizer because all the numbers are the same even one 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 or two 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 whichever however the numbers come if the numbers are repeated three times which means it's a balanced fertilizer with trace elements so you can um, you know be good with your fertilizer to your wine you can be good to your wine whichever the care you choose to provide it uh, especially if it's treated do not put it uh, under direct sunlight it has to be shaded and again uh, especially if it's repotted it has to be in the shade with filtered sunlight in the morning also for it to establish itself right so I've covered overall care of a Hoya in this video and I just plan to only talk about if your pinnacle is blooming half or quarter that if you have to worry about it so the short answer is no and apply all my care and think about all what you're doing guys as I always say there should be meaning to what you're doing otherwise everything will be a muck in the end <laughs> okay so 
be careful and you see how fuzzy they are at the edges of these petals boy these are very nice thank you guys for watching bye bye